Hello friends, my name is Kishan and welcome you in this video tutorial. In previous video tutorial, we had talked about the almost 13 uh, new methods uh, which added in the Java 8 math class. Right? So, in, in this video tutorial, uh, still there are some methods are left, uh, which is the one of the enhancement in Java 8 in math class. So in this video tutorial, basically I'm going to explore about this method, floor div method, which accepts. So there is two overloaded method, method loader, floor, uh, fl floor div. Uh, first, which takes two integer arguments and returns integer itself. And second, uh, takes two long arguments and returns your long itself, right? So let's try to understand this method through an example. So here I'm going to take so this method is static so directly you can call by stat uh, directly you can call by the uh, class name itself right so let's say floor uh, div right so i'm going to talk about this method floor div which accepts two integer value so here i'm going to pass uh, 45 and 4 right so here when both so this is the numerator and this is denominator so just you are going to divide numerator divided by denominator right so whatever uh, after div dividing i mean 45 divided divided by 4 uh, if i can open the calculator sorry so this will give 11.25 i think so let me show you so 45 and divided by 4 right so it's 11.25 so this will truncate the fractional part and this will return you the uh, remaining part as a result right if both numerator and denominator both argument is positive in that case this will behave like a simple division but uh, let's take another case when your numerator is positive uh, negative negative and denominator is positive right and you try to divide then what value we, are, we will get so if you look into the implementation of floor div then you are passing two integer parameter first this is dividing value x by y so x is your numerator and this is denominator right now this is checking if x x or y less than zero and remainder whatever remainder you are getting over here right remainder into value y not equal to x then go inside and that will decrement remainder by one and that value is going to return you so in this case if you uh, calculate uh, x x uh, x or y then this is going to return you some negative value and uh, this is also going to satisfy so that will go inside this and whatever remainder value you are getting that will be incremented by uh, that is decremented by one so if uh, i i could divide uh, minus 45 uh, by 4 then we are getting minus 11.25 right so it is an integer right so this will store in r this is going to store minus 11 right and this is this is going to be true so that will go inside this and r is going to decrement by one so minus 11 then just you decrement by one so minus 12 is going to return so if i run this then this is going to return you minus 12 so i hope you understood how to uh, make use of float div if you have any doubt over here so how this is gonna work then you can do one thing here you can do like int x equal to you can say uh, minus 45 and int y equal to 4 so if numerator and denominator are positive then this will uh, work like a simple division but uh, if numerator is negative and denominator is positive then this will work slightly different now if you could print if uh, you can create r right so r uh, means remainder so you x divided by y 
then what will value will get r 11 right so r right so so you can divide so minus 11 right so remainder you are getting uh, minus 11 now you can check what if you do x x job y then what value you are getting then x x job y you are getting uh, minus 41 so this condition is gonna true right this is for minus 41 is less than 0 and you can check this condition as well right so if you print this value over here then definitely this is gonna return you true right so this is going to return true so control will go to inside and r you are just getting minus 11 that's why that is decremented by uh, minus 1 and final value you are getting minus 12 so i hope you understood how uh, flow div works right so thanks for watching this video and this code i am going to upload on the github and github location i will specify in uh, video description if you have any query or any questions then please do post below to the video and you can drop my uh, if you have any query then you can even drop me an email on the kishan dot kishan dot at the rate gmail.com thanks for watching this video and see you in the next video